can you can you um, help the rest of the rest, rest of the planet get up to speed? What are the important lessons you've learned? I mean, one of the things about Silicon Valley is it's supposed to be a place where you learn from your mistakes. So, what are the mistakes <laughs> that you can learn from to save us, the rest of us, the planet, from getting down those mistakes? Yeah, so that's a great question. Uh, one uh, one thing I'm really interested in is uh, putting together the set of software tools that we're going to need to make this transition from uh, sort of uh, artisanal, hand-coded software that blows out of the fingertips of programmers to a uh, machine learning approach that's uh, formed by, uh, by trainers, essentially, gathering data and teaching machine from examples. And you know, over the 50 years or so that uh, computer science and programming languages have progressed, we've come up with some really good tools, right? So we build programming languages that are great for programmers to use, and they have all sorts of safety constraints, and they eliminate classes of errors that we used to make, uh, and they now disappear, and we've got uh, test suites, and we've got version control, we've got all these great tools for dealing with code, but we have almost no tools for dealing with data. And when you look at the errors that are made by us and our peer companies, it's rarely because somebody wrote the wrong line of code, it's usually because the data- There must be up. bugs in Google. There are, and boy, uh, you know, uh, we just had a, I forget exactly the number, but we just had a round number turnover. I forget if it was a million or whatever bugs. Uh, we, we celebrated. You had, you had a cake with candles on it to That's, celebrate yeah, yeah. your millionth bug. Right. Whoever made the millionth bug had to blow out all, all the candles. <laughs> uh, so sure, there are bugs, but, but when there's a major thing, you know, when Google is down or Facebook is down, you know, you look at the postmortem, and usually it's, oh, somebody screwed wait, up. Wait, wait, Google's uh, never down. I mean, that's one of the beauties of Google, right? Well, parts of some services for some people are unavailable at some time. I mean, no. <laughs> Unlike I'll British admit. Airways, Google's does manage there to go. There you go. And, you know, and when we do have those outages, it's because somebody messed up a DNS entry, not because uh -huh. they wrote a line of code, data if problem. this, then that. Right? And we just don't have the tools. Right? We don't have strong typing for data the way we do for our programs. And I think we're going to need to build that up uh, to uh, say, you know, there's more emphasis now on the data and making sure it's correct and verifying it and, and it's making sure it's not biased and it's fair and all those things. And we just don't have the toolkit. Uh, so, I mean, one of the other challenges is, is, I guess you're going to say, is that we don't have the people. Yeah, so that's another thing, and, uh, and we're addressing that in two ways. Uh, one is uh, training, right? And so we've put out uh, course materials, and, uh, you know, I've got to go back and, and work on the next edition of the textbook. That's a great service, Peter. Yeah, yeah thank you. And uh, internally, we've put, uh, I think, 10,000 engineers through a short course on machine learning, and, uh, you know, they all want to know. Uh, and we've made materials available to the outside world, uh, both uh, kind of at the university level and also uh, to encourage younger people to go into, into computer science, into machine learning. 